What is up you guys? My cat is sleeping on the bed right there. Today I am going to be teaching you guys how to go viral on TikTok. I have gone viral on TikTok over 10 times and I gained over 48,000 followers in I'd say about three months. Let's get into it. So TikTok is a little bit weird because if you post on TikTok, you don't know if something is gonna go viral or not because the algorithm is so messed up on TikTok. Like, I'm serious, you guys. Like, a video that you don't think is gonna go viral will go viral, and a video that you put so much work into and a video that you think is gonna go viral, it will only get about 2,000 views. I will tell you my stories. I realized in the past few months that videos that pop off on TikTok are videos that are controversial. People have different opinions. And if you post something that everybody agrees with, yeah, sometimes you're gonna get views, but it's more of something where it's like, it's a video for them to be like, oh my gosh, let me comment down below. Like, this is so weird. Like, I need to converse with other people and talk about how strange this is, you know? So my advice for you guys is, to post every single day. It doesn't matter if you're in your pajamas, it doesn't matter if you have no makeup on, post. I don't care what it is. Let's say you're lip syncing a song from Ice Spice and your hair looks all crazy like this. That could potentially go viral because your hair looks all crazy and people will comment on it. You are gonna get hate comments. That is something that just comes with the job. So there's negatives to everything. There's pros and cons, okay? So the next thing I wanna talk about is your hashtags. So in the beginning, you are going to want to have hashtags, but in the end, when you start getting a lot of followers, you're not really gonna need hashtags. But the hashtags that I used in the beginning were hashtag for you page, hashtag for you, let's say you were doing a video of like a what I eat in a day, hashtag food, hashtag what I eat in a day, hashtag lifestyle, like certain things like that. Another thing that I personally think is a little bit millennial <laughs> in a sense is when you have thumbnails for your TikToks. So yes, YouTube thumbnails are very important, but TikTok thumbnails, no, that's just embarrassing, okay? I'm being for real with you guys. Do not make your own TikTok thumbnails. Do not. I'm just, no. And lastly, I just want to say that you need to put yourself out there. You can't be afraid to try new things. Just post anything you want. Any trending sound, any trending video, go on your For You page. Even look at a girl and be like, oh my gosh, I wanna do that video. Put your own little spin on it, you know. Stay on track with the trends. That's my number one advice to you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it, comment down below if these tips helped you and what tips you're going to use on your next TikTok. I love you guys. Follow me on all my socials. Bye guys.